Hey, I'm Mel Taylor, Smart Fish Farm. What we do is raise and produce fish, and we distribute them, and also we manage lakes, and also build and repair ponds and lakes. What's up, Mel? Hey, Spook, what's going on, on buddy? Good, Good seeing you. Good seeing you. Well, we're here at Spook Spans, and uh, he has an algae problem. It was a mild winter. This algae will grow in the wintertime because of sunlight, and we're going to treat this algae, knock it down, the main thing with having uh, algae in the ponds is it takes away nutrients from microscopic plants and animals called plankton, which young hatching fish, no matter what they are, whether they're crappie, bass, bluegill, shad, when they first hatch out of their eggs, they have a natural food they need to eat, which is the billions and billions of microscopic plants and animals. And this takes that nutrition away from them. It's much like having a garden and you have giant weeds taking away nutrition from your vegetables. Well, I would suggest this. Let's just knock it down first with a uh, state-approved herbicide. That'll just get rid of it quickly, right. although it won't be a long-term uh, solution. Okay. And we're going to treat this algae, knock it down, and then we're going to add some fish. Uh, that uh, Tilapia is the name of the fish. They hatch thousands of small fish every three weeks throughout the year. They'll probably be eight to ten hatches. And these thousands of small tilapia will keep this algae eaten down so it will not come back. All right, Spook, we got it all treated. Awesome, awesome. So, all right, you got it treated. What's the next step? I mean, where do we go from here, kind of? Well, all this should melt away in about a week, mm -hmm. but it's not going to stay gone. It'll come back six or eight weeks, and you'll have the same problem. And treating it with chemicals is not the answer. You'd be treating this thing six times a year, you know? Um, I think the best thing is to go in with some brewed tilapia, about half to three quarter pound size. Right. That way your bass won't eat them. And they will hatch young every 18 to 21 days. And those young, they're uh, an opportunist. They're a plant eating fish. They'll eat the algae as it tries to reemerge. And you won't have any trouble spring, summer, or way up into fall. I got plenty of nice bait for those to grow those big bass. Yes, you do. Awesome. Yes, you do. I like it. It'll pump them up. I like it. When I get done with the place and people see the results, they're really surprised at how cheaply it was done, mostly because we used the right technique. All right, thanks, Mel, for hey. coming out and taking care of me. Thank you, Spoon. Appreciate it. We try to do it uh, simply, conservatively, uh, but also long-lasting and give a good uh, value for what people spend.